Hi there, so this video is going to show how to um, configure the palette on the ZX Spectrum Next so that you can print over everything. Um, I had this problem where I've got this kind of uh, this game where the sprites are moving around and when it's game over um, I wanted to clear an area and say it was game over um, and I'm using um, uh, the tile map to kind of print out black's uh, rectangle and print the word game over. Um, but if you'll see, I've just got this um, running in uh, debug mode, and uh, you'll see the problem. So uh, if I just jump straight to you're dead, this is the effect, right? It, it works, it blacks it over. Um, but if I move my sprite into the middle of the screen and then do uh, game over, the sprites sit above the um, uh, layer 2. Now I could change the order and put the layer 2 above the sprites, but then the sprites will completely vanish and I want to keep them uh, around the edge here. Um, I'm also using sprites for these kind of outer bound uh, images. So what we need to use is um, the priority flag on the palette. Now what that looks like in... Um, let me just show you. So I've got... Uh, I recommend if you don't use any tools to use a hex editor at the very least um, and what you can see is in my um, mummy palette this is the black color um, and this is actually black with priority set so what I need to do is set the black I need to use this uh, this priority set black and you can see it has this uh, 128 bit value set on the most significant or least significant, I can't remember which way it is, but this one. So these are the same color except this one has priority set. And what priority does is print over the, um, the sprites. So um, I've got this tooling that I've been working on just to kind of make my life easier. Um, and um, it's at zx.remyshop.com. Um, and I've got my, um, my tile sprites loaded in. Um, in the sprite editor here. I've got the tile map that I'm working with um, and I've loaded my palette in. Now what we can see here is I've got uh, these two colors. So I've selected the first one which is uh, I've set it to black as default. The second one though I've um, made it black so by basically clicking uh, where I want to copy to and when I'm copying from the 512 colors copies that into uh, my palette um, and then I've got this checkbox that is um, make it a priority and you'll you'll notice up in this corner there's like a little um, uh, like cut mark um, and you'll see it in the palette as well the uh, the, the, the selected palettes that I'm, I'm working with to, to paint with um, so even though this color looks exactly the same uh, what I need to do is now paint all of this black instead of being um, the current uh, index zero so you can see the index down at the bottom there the I colon zero means it's index zero I need to change it to um, this one which is uh, index one and you can see it says priority next to it okay so let's uh, let's do that so I'm just going to paint that in um, and now you can see when I move my mouse over it has index one uh, the color is zero because it's black uh, the hex value is is all zeros but it has priority as well um, and I'm just going to go to kind of 6 by 16 because it's easier to paint I'm going to paint all of these and that should be everything um, I've now got a uh, changed set, uh, sprite so I need to re-download that the tile map will look exactly the same um, because the tiles themselves haven't moved Oh, I actually, I also, if I download it as it is, what will happen is uh, the black will print over, but the whites uh, won't and the red won't. So I need to um, find a color I'm not using. So um, I'm looking at these numbers here, or the number counts for the uh, times are being used. I'm not using this green, so I'm just going to grab that, set that to uh, the white, and give it priority. I'm going to set that to uh, red, which is down here somewhere, um, and give that priority. I'm then also going to change uh, these whites. So I'm going to switch back to this mode and I'm going to fill using this. Okay, and that should be everything. Um, I think I can, I mean, visually you can't see any difference. Um, a way that I could do that is find the red uh, that's currently here. So I'm using red seven more times somewhere. Um, and I could just change that to a different value. I suspect it's probably up here. 
Um, but if we change that to uh, white, for instance, yeah, we can see that that just changed over here. Um, my tile map is absolutely fine still. So I'm going to just change it back to red. Oops, I need to select it. Uh, there we go, red. That's fine. And I just want to check that the white has all been changed. So if I change that to um, black, uh, you can see I've missed a couple here. Um, so let's just change. Uh, oh gosh, how are we going to do that? We're going to change that back to, let's change that to red for a moment. Yeah, we can see where I've missed. Okay, let's just change that back to a good white. Right, so I need to download the new palette and the new sprite sheet. So I'm going to save those. And I'm going to download the palette as well. I'm just going to copy those into my project. And now when I run this, um, it should completely sit over the uh, top. There we go. And that's what I was hoping for. So that's how to use um, priority pixels, I guess. Um, and yeah, hopefully this was useful. Cheers.